Today in the Lugnut, I'm going to show you how to use nut certs. Uh, really handy for mounting things in the back of you know trunks or on a firewall where you don't have access, easy access to the backside uh, to bolt things up. Uh, to do that, we're going to be working with a uh, race energy performance battery bracket. Uh, these guys. Big shout out to them. They're out of Delta BC, uh, Canadian made product for a uh, fits of braille battery, B3121. Uh, I went with a race energy uh, performance product because uh, it was available and it was Canadian made. So uh, I jumped all over it and I tell you the service was terrific. I ordered it. This I'm not being paid by them or by any means or anything, but uh, you know, you gotta give them a shout out when they do something right. I had originally ordered a black one and uh you know it took my order everything and uh you know how it is normally if something turns out to be back ordered or, or something you never hear about it uh or the order gets cancelled these guys next day reached out to me and said hey dave sorry uh we're actually out of black ones will a clear anodized one work and instead of canceling the order having to redo it they just scribble it out on a piece of paper like a normal person would do and uh the clear anodized showed up a couple days later. So good product. Of course, it has some uh, some nut certs in it as well. And battery goes in, pretty simple and uh, very nice and tidy. So we're gonna install this in the back of this uh, 70 uh, Challenger. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that old bracket. We're going to uh, make sure that we're happy with where that bracket, the new one's gonna sit and where the new battery is gonna be placed. Uh, we'll mark the holes, drill it, and I'll show you how a nutsert tool works. And uh, uh, yeah, hopefully then you'll uh, be turned on to the nut set craze, just like I was years ago. So, all right, let's get after it. Grab the trusty three eighths, a little half inch. This is exactly what nutsert what nut certs are great for. So you don't have to do this. There we go. <sighs> yeah, good old uh, slotted. Those can go in the box down on the floor with all the other stuff that's not going back in. Okay, so next up, we're gonna uh, get this battery bracket in here. Um, you can see there's all sorts of little holes. What I'm gonna do is I'll end up filling those uh, up a couple of grommets and whatnot and uh, kind of neaten them up. So, uh, But uh, for now, what we'll do is we'll get this bracket in here. We'll try and find a somewhat level spot if that's possible. If it's not, we'll end up shimming the one side so that it does sit perfectly flat and doesn't rock back and forth uh, but it's got to make sense too right oh look there's a so realistically we could oh there's a... i was looking and it looked like i was going to be able to utilize that hole but then that puts the other one right on that seam and putting a nut cert through a seam is a uh... yeah not going to happen I mean, it could, but not easily. There's a hole right there. Just gonna drop a drop a bolt down there just for now. Grab this little battery. Make sure that it can come out and go back in, because that would be a real pain, right? Go. So if I got to switch the battery, you'd come out, slide it over, and that would that would fit there. Currently we've got our that would be that's our ground strap there, and then positive to be there. And of course that would clamp down nicely there. So I think that's a decent spot, really. Um, we'll make sure it's nice and straight. Like 
So we're just going to mark those spots. Seems kind of criminal that we're going to punch a bunch more holes in this trunk, but it is what it is. All right, so we got our first uh, hole enlarged there using the 2764 strewed it. Not like that totally matters, but anyways. All right, so this here is a, your standard run-of-the-mill nutsert tool. It's got a, a quarter-inch course on it. Uh, this is a, another another nutsert, just an aluminum. You see it doesn't, doesn't have the knurling uh, like the, these metal ones have. Of course, now it sounds like we got a bike shop outside, but uh, it is summer, so. Uh, yeah, so the way these work, they've got a, they've got a section that has no thread. Uh, from here to here, on the, you can see on the inside there, no thread at all, and then there's thread further down. So what happens, kind of like a pop rivet, uh, basically, uh, you pull back on here, this mushroom is out, and you get a uh, you get a permanent nut. So I'll show you there, and there we go. So pretty simple, and one one nuts are compressed. So. We will, uh, we will get the first one set in place here. There we go. Now you want to make sure they're good and tight so you can Pull that nose piece out a little bit if you think you didn't get it squeezed. There you have it. Permanent. So again, we'll spin that on. It all depends on what your grip strength is. On to how far you see how wide oak that's got to go. ones. Ah, uh, there we go. Once the, getting them started is kind of a pain. The aluminum ones are much, much easier. Pull that one out. Basically, I like to take it, instead of wide, wide open, close it down to where you can grip well. You can get it up there tight. Right about like that. Spin that nose cone out if you feel like you just need a little bit, or you want it just a little tighter. Get you a little more grip back. Nope, apparently that was all the way. All right, and one more. So that's nutserts, pretty uh, pretty darn simple. As you can see from the bottom side, they mushroomed out just perfectly there. And uh, now let's test fit this, see what it does. Make sure that we got it right. So like I said before, these did not come with this battery uh, tray. It did come with the uh, proper ones to, of course, for the top. But uh, these are from a uh, from a uh, kit that I never used for uh, light bars. So there's that. All right. These are handy bloody things. Another Canadian built. I mean, I've got half a dozen of the darn things, and a really good interchangeable bit. Um, this one's, of course, is for for hex or allen keys and uh, nice all right so we'll grab our big bad battery there we go all finished installed ready for the racetrack it's a good stable stable setup and uh oh, it looks pretty good too so, 
kind of nice to be actually adding things back into this car for once instead of cutting everything out. All right, so there you have it. Hopefully you understand how to use a nutsert properly. You know, on projects like this uh, race energy performance battery tree. And uh, yeah, hopefully you found it beneficial. Thanks for watching. I'm David the Lugnut. And if you like what you saw, smash that like and subscribe button down at the bottom of the page there. Maybe share it out to a friend. Till next time, have a great day.